Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. I'm back in Louisiana. Just got here a few days ago from Wisconsin. I'm out at this marina with my friend Craig and we're about to get some bait. It's uh, not too late, not too early. There's a bunch of rain around in the area, but I think it's gonna hold off and let us fish for a little bit. We're gonna get some cut bait and I'm gonna go for big cats and alligator gar or whatever is on the end of the line. So let's do that. All right, while Craig is catching bait, I'm gonna tie up. I've already got some steel leaders made. I just pulled this spool out of my backpack here and I noticed that I don't have it rigged up the way I like. See, see what's going on here? It just comes off and makes a mess in my pack and I don't like that. That's not normally what I do. So while I'm waiting for the bait, I'm gonna show you how I avoid that now i've got my crimpers here and they're also wire cutters you can use a knife to do this but we're just going to do this we'll make sure that we're not cutting through the line there we're going to take this and go bang make a slit right and then i take this line and i i just put it in that slit put the line in the slit there we go. It's kind of tight. It's a tight slit. There you go. No more mess. I got to pull it out of the slit now. <laughs> All right. There we go. So I hear somebody in the comment section already. You need to stop using that cheap mono. Well, this cheap mono is going to be for lead line. So what does it matter? <laughs> All right, so let me show you what I'm doing and let me tell you the bad news. I've already done it, actually. <laughs> so here we go. These are my rigs. I, I don't know if you can see real good with this light. <clears throat> All right, first I'm gonna show you the rigs I just tied up and then I'm gonna tell you the bad news. So I'm, I'm mainly here to catch gar, but I know that I'll catch cats too. So yay, that's good. <clears throat> Looking forward to that. So here we go. We're using a three-way swivel tonight with on uh, the main line is 80 pound braid on both these rods and both rigs are the same. Using two ounces of lead because we're not fishing current and it's not that windy. So that'll be fine. And we're using 20 pound mono, that cheap shit. Omniflex for the lead line and this is like a hundred and thirty pound Seven strand steel leader down to an ought six kale Tonight all right What's the bad news Craig? No cut bait. He couldn't catch any no so Let's see what this dude right here can do <laughs> Yep, does that sound good? <laughs> all right let me go throw out my shoulder for you people. <laughs> there we go, this is the magic. <laughs> Can you get copyright strikes for open doors? <laughs> All right, looks like you got something here, Craig. Mm -hmm. You got a, you got some uh, shrimp and some uh, pogey, some menhaden, but this boy right here me i'm talking about me i want some mullet yeah or something bigger some pinfish got a little big crab now yeah i see that little baby crab speaking of pinfish let me show you something craig has over here this is it i've heard about these and craig has told me about it he just got this what is that craig looks pin like a trap. pin pinfish trap yeah he bait right here bait in and empty your fish out Made a hole right here where you fish swim in. Does he swim out there? No. Just swims in? <laughs> yeah, hopefully. All right. <laughs> All right, so what kind of bait do you put in there? I'm going to use some shad, probably. That, you're going to use that shad that's in the basket? Yeah. Well, here's the water. Yeah, I'm going to find the net. I'm going to pull something out of her. And I'm going to fish with it. Ooh, I see something right there. A little crab. So I'm walking around. Before I throw this net, I'm on a little inspection. I'm looking at the water. I'm like listening for plops and ploops. I'm gonna pull out this little thing here. This is a 
the TC20 by through nut. I just have it in regular mode. Kind of, woo, did you hear that boom, boom? There's a, some kind of minnow right there. Whoa, there's a storm coming. Let's see if I can make these bait fish have a seizure. Boom. So there's something right over there. There's needlefish. I'm just trying to identify what's around because it is almost dead as a doornail here. There's not much activity. I like to do that to see if it's worth me throwing my net or not because I'll waste a lot of energy on a place like this that has nothing to offer and I'll feel really put out. So let me try to find a good spot to tire myself out at. All right, I'm not catching mullet. I'm catching shrimp, small and big. He's keeping shrimp, so I'm dumping them in this basket here. It's a bait basket, shrimp basket. Here's a, one of the, I'm gonna show you one of the ones I just caught. See that? That is a nice size. That's gonna get eaten. All right, this just came out of the water, obviously. Look at that, that's a pretty nice one. And there's some small ones in here too. There we go. Boys gotta like make sure they come out. I hear stuff kicking around. Look, I see, I see glowing golf balls going across the water over here. See them glowing golf balls, Craig? Golf balls. Alligator eyes. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Flutter in the net. Got some shrimp in there, and I got what I want. I got a mullet in there. That's enough to start. I'll do a couple more throws for Craig, though, see if I can catch some more shrimp for him. Oh, I got, I got one all the way up here at the horn of the net. Yeah. The shrimp. Well, I hate when he had to haunt because it sticked you like that. I might tear his head off like that, I don't know. No, I got him out. <clears throat> so I'm at a, another location. It's about 400 feet from the other location. It's old boat ramp at the end of this canal can't use my bank sticks here because I'm standing on asphalt and concrete but I do have the brain of a chimpanzee <laughs> how do you like my my bottle rod holder waterproof? are you waterproof are you all wet <laughs> you are waterproof aren't you <laughs> you're probably wondering why I'm rubbing on you like that and asking you all these weird questions it's not because I like you well I do like you <laughs> you you mean a lot in my world in my life but <laughs> I just uh, I'm having to touch you a lot right now because there's water all over you <laughs> It's nothing weird, I promise. It's just, it <laughs> happens to be pouring right now. And the camera's wet. So I'm not actually like rubbing on you. <laughs> Even if you are Stormy Daniels, well, actually. <laughs> she's not my type, so. I don't think she watches me anyway. So, yeah, it's pouring down rain. It's midnight. <coughs> I'm kind of sitting in the truck. There's, there's no fish biting. Lots of big shrimp here though. Lots of big shrimp. This might just be like me and Craig catching a few big shrimp. A fishing hack here and there. There's some fishing hacks in this video. You know, little uh, shortcuts for your life as a fisherman. And one thing I, I meant to mention, ah, <laughs> you say that correctly. One thing I forgot to mention earlier, when you're shrimping, even though you see me with my camera on and all these bright lights, actually, I prefer to have the lights off when I throw the net. Bright lights seem to make the shrimp go away. They don't like it so much. I don't think they do, is my experience. So yeah, 
shrimp in the dark and then turning the light on to see what's in the net. Well, let's sit here for a little bit longer and see if it stops. Well, the rain stopped, the truck started and drove off and stopped over here at Lake Hermitage. I'm gonna throw out this cut bait. I'm not gonna throw it out too far because it's kind of snaggy here. Craig is throwing the net. So it seems this video is gonna just keep going on. Let's see if we can put some fish in it. Yeah. Told you. <laughs> Got him in the nose. Look at that crazy stuff. <laughs> at least they're not swallowing the hooks. Yeah. <laughs> I almost wasn't going to film this because I thought it was a hard head. Look what I caught out from under the dock here. I put a, a shrimp on this jig head and I was just kind of plopping it around and I caught myself a little channel cat. There you go. There we go. Whoa, what was that? Was that an oyster fish? No, it kind of like a little perch. Huh. Let's see what else is down there. I thought it looked like an oyster fish. Whoa! <laughs> There's some fish down there. No fresh off, fresh work yet. No, it's not. Is that? A, oh, it is another channel cat. Man, uh, so many hard heads. Everything looks like a hard head now. <laughs> same method, right out from under the dock. This might actually be the same channel cat. This is this. I think this is the same channel cat, Greg. Maybe. Pop your line too. Not didn't pop my line. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's your line, homeboy. It's your rod. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Mate! Snake. <laughs> Big snake. <laughs> Ooh, I think I got my bastard. <laughs> Woo <-hoo. laughs> Grab it. Grab it. Too late. Grab that. <laughs> they good for bait, though. Yeah, they're good on the plate, too. You ever eat them? Yeah, yeah, I love them. So much for your pinfish trap. <laughs> I am the pinfish trap. <laughs> so here's a little hacky hack for you. This is what I did to catch that. <clears throat> a lot of times fish will just go for the head first. And... I'm basically just fishing with the head, just putting on the head somehow in some fashion and putting it down there. All right, now I've put a piece of a uh, cup bait mullet on this jig. Let's see if I can catch a <clears throat> another channel cat instead of pan fish and uh, another eel would be fun. I'm just letting everything go. Take them, put them in. Yeah. You want it? Yeah, yeah. That's well, that's the way to go. A piece of cup bait. <laughs> Just 
They're not stealing my bait <laughs> so fast. Cut bait stays on there longer, but that's not that's not what I want to catch. You want to use this for bait? Yeah. I'll put it in the basket for you. Once again, Louisiana Sky Piss is just running us off. As soon as we get in the truck, it zips up its fly, and it's not raining anymore. But <laughs> I'm kind of sick of that anyway. So at least this wasn't like a, 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 a hard head cap on the end of this video. So I did put some fish in this hacky video. It was kind of fun bumping that jig around, seeing what I would get out from under that dock. The pinfish were a good fight. Even the hardheads were a good fight, but it was kind of cool to catch a channel cat, a couple channel cats, right? So that, that was a yeah. lot of fun. So yeah. if you like the channel and you like what I do with my videos and you want to support the channel, there is a link down in the description this time. You can check it out. Oh man, I got to go. I'm tired. See you next time.